Sewing machines, sewing machines, sewing machines. Which one do you have? Can you tell me? Well, if that's some content you would like to see, please continue to watch. Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name is Rochelle from Rochelle Handmade Designs. And in this video, I am gonna be sharing with you my sewing machines, my sergers, and my cover stitch machine. Now you guys have been asking me in several videos of what machines I have. Now I have kind of like already showed you guys this when my husband bought me this machine, which is the Brother Machines almost two years ago, it was a Christmas. And I'll go ahead and link to that video, how he did some wrapping and all that stuff in a different video, I'll link to that. But I wanna share with you guys what machines I use and how I use them. Not necessarily how I use them, but what are the features of the machine, all right? So if you are new to the channel, oh, welcome. Hello, ciao, guten tag, aloha, hola, konnichiwa, wagwan, sambanani, salon, bonjour. If you are returning, you guys know what to do by now. Go get you something to drink, a quick snack. Come on back so we could go ahead and get into this quick video. So without further ado, uh, let's go ahead and get right on into it so I can tell you all the features of the machine that I use, all right? All right, so let's go ahead and talk about my first sewing machine right here. Now, this is not the first sewing machine that I have purchased. My first one is a Singer, but I gave it to my daughter. So this is the second machine that I purchased. This is the SQ9185. I have my GoPro, so I'm just using my GoPro to film this portion. It is a computerized uh, sewing machine. So this sewing machine is a versatile and user-friendly tool for sewing. Now I did take the little piece that goes right here off of it, right? Um, but this sewing machine has a hundred, I think it's a hundred, let me zoom in to show you. So it stops at 99. So I'm just gonna say it has a hundred built-in stitches. It also includes decorative stitches. So like right here at the very bottom, you see the decorative stitches right here. Um, it also has like a quilting option if you choose. Um, now mine, um, I can do quilting, but I don't use this one for quilting whatsoever. It offers all kinds of different creative possibilities for various projects as well. Um, so I don't have it plugged in, but it does feature an easy to use LCD screen. I'll show you this on my other sewing machine. Um, but it does feature an LCD screen right up here. You know, um, normally it has like a position gauge right here. It has different, um, what's names right here. Um, it also features a speed dial right here where you could go slow or fast as well. But there's not much to say about this machine because I have one similar. Um, it has bobbin, you know, your needle placement. But this is one of the first machines that I purchased. I've been having this one right here since 2012. So once again, this is SQ9185, my brother machine. Let's go ahead and go over to my second machine. All right, so this one that I have right now is my brother 9285. And um, this one features rich and advanced tools. And this one is more catered towards like someone who's intermediate level uh, sewist. So I'm gonna zoom it in so you guys are able to see this. So right here, you can see that it features a lot of different stitches right here. So this one goes up to 99 regular stitches, but it also features some decorative stitches right there as well. So it has a total of 150 built-in stitches. It also has like the decorative hair loom options as well. Um, the possibility is endless. This one also features an LCD screen right here um, as well. 
for easy stitch selections. You know, you could basically just push right here for your um, stitch length where it says check. That's your stitch length right here. Um, you can also decide on wh what you want to do. It So right here where you're changing it, it shows which one you need to do. Now for me, number four is my zigzag stitch. Um, I could also use a buttonhole, which is 38 is the one that I normally use. I could change it to 38, which features the buttonhole. That's this one right here that I could use as well. Um, it's convenient for me. I feel like this machine is convenient. I normally use this one if I'm making woven, so I don't have to set up so many machines unless I'm doing a collection. Now, when I'm doing a collection, I normally have two or three machines set up for myself. One will have one color. Uh, I could put this one on one color, the SQ9185 I just showed you, have a different bobbin thread and just sew. But I just make sure that even though the 9185 says knit, I could definitely put a woven needle in and I just make a note on my machine that it's a woven needle in. Um, one thing that I do is because I sew all the time, I definitely change my needles out very often after about two or three projects, I go ahead and put a new um, needle right here on my sewing machine because it's a little knob right here. Let me zoom in so you can see this. So this knob right here, you just turn it um, and take the needle out like that as well. Um, and it also, this one also features like a um, needle, a automatic needle as well to put your needle in. So I do like that feature of this sewing machine as well. But yeah, this one right here is Brother SQ9285. So let's go ahead and get into my big boy, what my husband bought me about two years, almost two years ago for Christmas. All right, so this one right here, the third machine I'm showing you is my brother's Anovis. NQ3600D. So this is a cutting edge sewing and embroidery machine. So it it combines functionality and creativity all in one. So this one right here has several built-in stitches. So let me bring it closer so the camera closer so you could see this as well. So right here, it actually has, when I say so many decorative stitches, I'm gonna lift this up so you can see it. Zoom in a little bit more. Okay. I'm trying to focus this for you guys so you can see it. But anyway, it has a total of, so it's 35 there. I gotta do quick math, that's a lot. But it has roughly about 291 built-in stitches. Now, I'm just saying simply because this has 35, and then 20 is 55, and then 22 right here is 77, and then 15 is 92, plus 8 is 100, plus 84 is 184. I know I, I used to be a math teacher, y'all, so <laughs> get with the program, all right? Plus 18, <laughs> 184 plus 18 is 202. And then plus 17 is 219, plus 14 is 233, and then two, uh, 233 plus 58 is 291. So it has a total of 291 built-in stitches for this. It has um, 10, that's the number, 10 different styles. So this is style 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 right here. One thing that I'm going to show you how I know it's 10 like right here, let me zoom in. So this shows the preset of one right here, right? And then if I do this, let me show you, I've touched the back key right here, right? It goes to this portion right here where you can select the different settings, right? So if I wanted buttonholes, I would just hit the number four right and then i'll choose the different button I, i'm sorry the different buttonhole um that i want most of the time i would use the four four and create my buttonhole and it's computerized of course so that's what i would uh, normally do for mine right so i'm just going to go back to what i normally do now when i mess up and i want to go back somewhere i'm just gonna put it on one 
and I'm just going to put this back to one. So it takes me back to a regular stitch that I was uh, going to be making, okay? So let me zoom back out so you can see this. I'm going to put this back down. This is my um, spool. I just switched arms. Um, but this is my where my thread goes. This is where it loops around. It also has a automatic needle placement. I like that about this machine as well. This, I love this machine. Um, I can't tell you how much it costs because I don't know. My husband bought it for me. So, and he bought it from the brother's website. All right. But that's that. This is my baby. I so, so this machine right here, I normally use for all sew alongs that I do here on the channel. I use this machine instead of my SQ 9182 and 9182. 83 i'm sorry 9285 and 9183 for two reasons i use the other machines basically when i'm sewing a collection and this one it'll cut my thread and all of that for me automatically um so i just prefer to use this for when i'm doing sew along versus the other two machines that i have all right um one thing i mentioned the buttonholes to you another thing that i will mention is it has 138 different uh, embroidery designs. Now, I have not played around with this yet. And if you guys know, if you a guru at embroidering stuff, listen, you guys got to hook up with your girl because uh, your girl have not tried this embroidery situation yet, okay? So I have an embroidery machine, which is this right here. I just haven't played around with it. And let me tell you, I know I'm... Um, one to say, just do it. So that's one of the things that I'm going to be doing this year, playing around during Christmas when I have take some downtime for myself. I'm going to be playing around with this to try to figure out this embroidery situation. It frightens me and it scares me. And my husband keeps saying like, we ain't going to learn how to embroider. We ain't going to embroider something on a shirt for me. Listen, if you have a husband, you know, he's always in your ear. Okay, let's get that. All right. So I like the large LCD touch screen right here as well. Um, basically, another thing with this machine that I like is like the embroidery area. So I could show you the embroidery area, but you know, it's another piece that you take this off and you put the embroidery um, a hand on. They call it the embroidery hand. You put that on and you're able to do the embroidery hand. Now, if I remember correctly for this machine, the uh, embroidery area for this machine is 6.25 inches by 10.25 inches, which features like large projects that you could do and put on your machine as well. Um, so I like that like, right, as well, but this is considered like a high performance machine. Not in terms of like your Husqvarna or those industry size machines that you could do embroidery, but this is like for a brother, this is considered a high performance machine and very perfect if you just want to do some embroidering or sewing. Now for this machine, I just pretty much do sewing. I will do some embroidering soon. All right. So this is the machine that I pretty much use to do all of my sew alongs here on the channel. Now that I showed you this machine, my sewing machine, let's go ahead and get over to my cover stitch machine. All right, so this right here, I do not have it plugged in. I have never used this machine, but this right here is the Brothers Cover Stitch CV3440 cover stitch machine is a professional grade cover stitch machine that basically lets you create polished garments. Um, it lets you create professional looking hems, um, seams, decorative stitches, and things of that nature right there. It also features either a three needle or four uh, threads. You could do just like your, you know how you have your serger, so it serves as like a serger and a cover stitch machine. You could do either three threads or four threads as well. Um, so you will get great hems and top stitching and stuff like that with this machine. I like the fact that this machine right here is color coordinated as well. Um, so you, of course you have your upper looper, your lower looper, your needle, you have all of those things with this machine, kind of like similar to a serger. Now, one thing I will say is I have never used this machine 
and I have never used a cover stitch machine in. Like I said, my husband bought this machine <laughs> when he bought the Brother Enovis. Now I have a whole video where my husband did some hellified wrapping while he wrapped up like three blankets over the big freaking box that came in. And I just thought, you know, he put it over a stool that I could sit. I did not see this box and he called me into my sewing room and he said, hey, you know, this is your Christmas present. I don't know how he got it by me, but he did. Both machines, the cover sister machine, as well as the Brother Enovis NQ3600D. But I have never used it. I'm going to get some downtime during Christmas time. So I'm going to, you know, test and all of that stuff. And once I do, I'll tell you what I think about the machine. All right. So the last thing I'm going to show you are my sergers that I use. So let's go ahead and get over there. All right. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Here's the sergers that I use. So I have two of them and I'm going to turn the other one around so you can see this. And I know you're wondering like, Rochelle, you have two of the same serger. So yes, I do. I have two of the same serger. You can't go wrong with two. Okay. So this one is the brother lock 1034 D. I have two of them and I have two different colors for that same reason. I don't want to be changing out threads. Now, um, I said this a while ago. I think I have this on the channel back in 2020, I believe where I unboxed one of these. I already had one and then I purchased another one from a lady who was given away this one of them. I don't know which one, but she was given a brother lock 1034 D. She put it on Facebook marketplace. She stayed in South Carolina where I moved from never been open. And she said, I have never used this serger. Um, she actually, I think it was like a hundred to $125 is what she wanted. When I got there, actually, I'm sorry. It was the sewing machine. It was the 9285, the SQ 9285. She was giving that away. And then I said, yes, I'll go ahead and pay you $125 for that sewing machine. What did she do? She threw in the serger. Either she threw in the serger or she threw in, no, I, I'm sorry. I'm telling the story wrong. I paid 125 for the serger. I have my husband over here correcting me. So that's why I'm telling you <laughs> correctly. I paid 125 for this serger, but she also threw in the bias tape maker for free. So I got two for the price of one <laughs> basically for this. All right. So these are the two sergers that I use. It's the brother 1034 D lock or the brother lock 1034 D serger. Now with this, it has like 22 built in stitches for this. I know you're wondering like, how is that? I don't know. I read the manual before I started recording this portion. Okay. Um, it like, if I know a lot of people is, are, um, very scared of a serger. Don't be this thing works miracles now. All right. So I'm not going to turn it on simply because I don't have it plugged up and I got to move this whole think over to do that because I was cleaning up in here. So anyway, this is, these two are the sewing, the, not the sewing machine, but the sergers that I use. They are the brother lock 1034 D. This is one of the sergers that a lot of the sewists have. So this is a good one that you may want to put in your sewing studio. So what I'm going to do is now give you kind of like a little 360 view of the sewing machines that I use and then close out this video. So there you have it. That is the entire video of my sewing machines and my sergers that I use um, on a daily basis. Now I use the brother machine, 
this is like my everyday use machine. Like I use, I use this pretty much for like all my sew alongs and stuff like that. I use this machine, which, you know, I might as well take the cover off by now, but, but it's the brother Enovis NQ 3600 D for this machine. And, um, I use the other machines like my, um, brothers, uh, SQ 9285 which is the machine I have across from me. I use that pretty much for like, if I'm just doing some quick sewing and I'm just basically just kind of like sewing for my daughter or I'm just doing something quick, instead of putting all of this together, I'll go ahead and use the other machine as well. So I use the machines interchangeably, but yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. And since you made it this far, do not forget to hit that like button, subscribe button, and also smash that notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video. So I'll catch you in the next video. And as always, keep sewing. And oh, before I forget, I know you guys wanna know what I have on, but this is a sew along for this pattern. I believe that pattern is New Look 6692. I will go ahead and link to that on the end screen as well as in the description box below. So you are aware.